A Driver's Guide to Customer Care and Passenger Safety As a professional motor coach driver, the safety and satisfaction of your passengers is of the utmost importance. This video will provide some suggestions for moving people safely and reliably while delivering a personal and positive experience. Being a great motor coach driver takes much more than just safely navigating a large commercial vehicle from one place to another. It means caring about the passengers you transport and ensuring that they have the best possible experience on their journey. Let's take a look at what drivers can do to help ensure customer care and passenger safety. 1. Preparation Driving a motor coach is an occupation that's demanding both physically and mentally. So before every trip, make sure you are well rested and have any negative emotions completely under control. Prepare for the day ahead by reviewing all of the group instructions and details. Map out your destination to help avoid inconvenient delays caused by weather, construction, or traffic jams. Research places where you may be traveling for any COVID advisories and restrictions, as the safety and well-being of your passengers is imperative. Make it a point to know who your passenger group is, and the names of the people in charge. The extra effort of knowing someone's name always makes a great first impression. Be sure to perform a pre-trip inspection before operating the vehicle. While a pre-trip inspection is required by federal regulations, it's also the best way to catch unsafe conditions and spot mechanical problems before they lead to unexpected breakdowns, schedule delays, or some very upset passengers. Make sure everything on your coach is ready for the trip, from the seat backs to the floor cleanliness to the supplies in the restroom. Number 2. Passenger Safety and Service When you arrive at the pickup location, park away from traffic, and where you won't have to back up to depart. Choose a spot that's level and has plenty of room for passengers to board all bus entry points, including the wheelchair lift. Also, there's no need to use a kneeler when positioned four to six inches from the curb. A kneeler should only be used in places with no curbs at all and preferably a flat surface. During evening or night hours, select a pickup point that is well lit. In high traffic or urban areas, be on the lookout for bicycles, scooters, and skateboarders who might be riding through the gaps in between the bus and the curb. When curb loading is not feasible, position the bus to create a barrier whenever possible to prevent the problem. Consider placing orange cones at tough boarding and unloading locations to establish space in parking lots. Greet your group leader by name and with a warm, sincere smile and good eye contact. Go over the route, schedule, and any en route stops. Remember, for safety's sake, you must supervise and control access to your coach. Generally, it's preferable to board your passengers before opening the baggage doors. Position yourself at the base of the stairs and assist everyone on board as necessary. Offer to help with smaller packages or to store heavier or oversized items in the baggage bays. If you load bags first, keep the coach door locked. Once everyone is settled, introduce yourself and go over your company's safety guidelines including any COVID restrictions and procedures related to face mask use and social distancing. Make sure passengers are aware of the locations of the emergency exits and how to operate them. Remind everyone to buckle their seat belts if the coach is so equipped, to remain seated throughout the trip, and to refrain from distracting you while you're driving. Before departing, answer any questions your passengers may have. Number 3. Safe Driving as a motor coach driver, you're an ambassador for your company. So it's important to abide by the laws of the road and do all you can to be a courteous and safety conscious driver. Maintain a proper following distance of at least six seconds, more when driving conditions are less than ideal, such as in adverse weather or at night. Obey the posted speed limit, adjusting your speed for conditions. Signal your intentions, allow others to pass, and avoid making unnecessary lane changes. And don't let other drivers' actions cause you to react negatively. You're transporting a motor coach full of passengers. Their safety is in your hands, and their well-being is paramount. While driving, check your passenger mirror and politely remind any standees to remain seated. As you near your destination, tell your passengers the schedule for arrival, any timetable for later events or departure, and a reminder to check for personal articles as they exit the coach. 4. Arrival and Wrap-Up When you reach your destination, 
unload your passengers first, then take care of the baggage. Assist passengers off the bus in the same way that you help them on. Once everyone has exited the vehicle, close and lock the coach doors to prevent unsupervised reboarding. No matter how many times your customers board or get off the bus, be involved with them, standing in position and offering assistance. Of course, your responsibility as an ambassador for your company doesn't end when you reach your day's destination. Good judgment and professionalism in your off-duty activities are also very important, particularly if you're likely to be seen by passengers traveling with you. 5. Unplanned or emergency stops Despite your best efforts to ensure a safe and pleasurable journey, there are occasions when a trip doesn't go according to plan. In a medical emergency, unless you or one of the passengers is medically trained, you should stop at a safe location and call 911 for help. Law enforcement checkpoints may cause your passengers concern. Give travelers as much information as possible, the reason for the stop, what might take place, and some idea of how long the stop will be. Accidents happen. If one occurs, remain calm. Move your vehicle if it creates a hazard. Turn on your four-way flashers, set out your emergency triangles, check for injuries, and promptly summon assistance. Gather as much information as you can, including witness contact information, and report the accident to your company and insurance carrier immediately. In the event of a mechanical problem, pull off the roadway to a safe location, protect your vehicle with your flashers and warning triangles, and seek assistance. Keep your passengers on the coach unless you've stopped in a location where their safety is at risk. Always let your passengers know what is happening and what you're doing about it. Lastly, remain alert to the warning signs of fatigue. If you feel them, pull off the road immediately to stretch your legs and get a breath of fresh air. If you feel too fatigued to continue driving, contact your company and get help along the way. Remember, being a great motor coach driver is much more than just driving safely. It means following all federal and local COVID guidelines, maintaining a courteous and professional demeanor when addressing your passengers' needs, and doing all you can to ensure that they have the best travel experience possible. Thank you for watching A Driver's Guide to Customer Care and Passenger Safety. If you have any questions, please contact our Customer Service Department.